I think what makes Global Visionaries so unique is that we really make an effort to work in solidarity rather than in charity. So we really are rooted in both places. We have an office in San Miguel Escobar, Guatemala, and we have our office here in Seattle. They're working with high school students in San Miguel Escobar, focused on social and environmental justice. And we're doing the same thing here in Seattle. And when we visit Guatemala, all of our projects, all of our community service work is directed by our Guatemalan colleagues so that it's appropriate and effective for the community that we're serving. Tanto que los jóvenes guatemaltecos como los jóvenes de Estados Unidos pues conozcan parte de nuestra cultura y parte de la cultura de Estados Unidos. I think that one of the most important things that we do is uh, build the confidence that the youth, uh, the youth have to be a leader. They all have it. It's just to practice it and build that confidence that we all have. I'm excited and nervous because like I've never gone so far like without like my parents or anything. I always am just with my mom and my siblings and it's going to be very different away from them. It seems a little scary but also it seems like it'll be exciting so it's kind of like riding a roller coaster. I don't travel too much. Not knowing anyone necessarily. It's the first time without my family. I guess it's a little unknown for me. I haven't gone to like a different country. I'm expecting the chance to like get to know Guatemalan culture. Get new experiences with different people who like have a totally different culture than what I'm used to. Make like a lot more friends. Open my mind to what the rest of the world is like. Do community work. Learn a lot of new things. I'm just expecting to like see like another way of life. Being able to like make a difference in the community. Disconnect from my phone. Meet some kids around Seattle. The main thing that I want out of this trip is to gain a new perspective. Pues eh, nosotros como familia hemos aprendido que que a pesar de la diferencia que hay de, de idioma y de todo lo demás, eh, pues eh, somos iguales, ¿verdad? En, en tanto el cariño que se muestra. I very much was in a bubble before. I had never really gone outside of the country. I stayed kind of in Seattle the bubble there and after I was able to see a completely different side and make connections with people who I never imagined that I would have relationships with and like work past language barriers. In Seattle there's not a lot of like you walk down a street and no one really says hi and that was the thing that was very much present in Guatemala. I was observing how wasteful we are in the United States and how conscious the people in Guatemala are especially with water and money and just taking care of the environment in a way that we have the luxury not to. I have more of a sense for international like coming together, more like we're all in this together rather than every country has their own issues. It has broadened my view on so much of the world and just my own privilege here in America. Sometimes people disagree about many things, but in the end, I think everyone's human and similar and so it made the world seem a lot smaller. Muy bonita, es una experiencia muy bonita. Poder uh, tener a jóvenes extranjeros, porque aprendemos muchas cosas de ellos. When I had gone back from the immersion, I find myself still, if I reach for my phone, correcting it and saying, I can be in the moment. The importance of family, family time, having like specific dinner time, um, full of conversation. I was connecting with them with a very limited Spanish skill. I got really, really close with my host family, so much so that my host mom, she told me that I could come back anytime and stay with them because I was a part of their family. And I remember like tearing up. To be like more patient with other people and to take life a little bit slower. Journaling, having time alone to reflect on what you're doing. Por supuesto, para mí eso es una pasión esto, invita, eh, eh, enseñarles, sí, enseñarles cómo es el, el trabajo. Eh, yo pues empiezo pues más que todo desde cuando se hace la siembra, sí, y luego voy paso por paso. I think going on this trip made me realize how far of a reach my like studies could have, like knowing, learning things about our world and like how people's brains work could, like I could help people. Um, farther from just like the, the states. Like I realized I wanted to 
have a career where I work with more diverse groups of people and it made me contemplate like do I want to stay in the U.S. We have a student that actually reached out to us uh, years later just reflecting back about the experience of Global Visionaries and I'm doing this that I'm doing right now and I can point back at my experience in Global Visionaries. I definitely have a lot more of an environmental focus or a focus toward changing things for the better. I think now I have a lot more hope for the world and how we can all come together. I applied because I want other people, like other kids in this area to just see, see what I saw. It opened my eyes. I wanted to share the experience uh, and look at it through a different lens too. I left Guatemala and I got back and I felt like I wasn't done. I felt like I still had more that I wanted to do, more, more that I wanted to learn, and more that I wanted to share. Working with GV is the thing that I do every year that brings me the most joy. I feel like I get to give back to a community that has given me so much, and it is absolutely magical to see the transformation that happens in participants from the moment that they arrive at the airport and people are like really nervous and scared to um, the confident, amazing, like blossoming that happens throughout and at the end. Um, it just, it's really a privilege to be able to like witness and be a part of.